I think to, to, to me it's important because I feel like a lot of, uh, I'm an English 1050 professor, and so many of my students, you know, they come to college, you know, from, I mean, from, from all over uh, Michigan, from all over the world sometimes, um, and they aren't aware of these issues. They aren't aware of how they, they fit into this sort of like privileged scheme, uh, these societal constructs. Um, and that's really the, the, the point of this play, is to educate people, you know, get them involved in a conversation, you know, figure out how we can make these things change, how we can make this university a better place. And we start with this university, you know, then that carries out into the community, and then it carries out from the community into the world. And that's never gonna happen if we don't start talking about these things. What I, what I wanna do is model a community among the actors and the, the, co the colleagues that are creating this that says, you know what? We have, we've done this together, we've, we've struggled with this, we've, we've looked at some really difficult stuff, we've had some difficult discussions, we've had some difficult discoveries. We are modeling uh, a, a kind of what I would call deliberative democracy. If we can do it as a group of artists, society should be able to do it, culture should be able to do it. We, so we create a mimesis, I guess you will, for a good society in the theater. There is no, you can't get mad at any of the language in this piece because it's real. The interviews that were happening were not planned out. Nobody knew what questions they were gonna be asked. You can't, you can come and you can feel however way you wanna feel, but this is all the words of people's real experiences. Like these are, these are real people's stories. And I think that that's the most beautiful thing about this piece because <sighs> You can get mad, but, and you can feel this way or that way, but this is real. Uh, we collected a lot of interviews, um, the actors, Stephanie, Carabath, and myself. Um, and then we went on these retreats, uh, Carabath, Stephanie, and I, and we just, we sat down at a table and we just organized. We took all what we thought was useful and had this gigantic binder just full of, you know, just stuff, and then we cut and pasted and moved and and the students had come up with this is how what we want the structure to be like we want to we want to cover this subject and this subject and so we, we mapped out a structure together and then Jeremy and myself and Stephanie took those that giant really long script and basically spent several weekends together over the summer and cut those trim them down, organize them, try to see how they could work as a conversation with one another. But it's also, you know, as you hear these things, as you see these people really come to life through the actors, you know, you find places like, whoa, that character really should be talking to that character over, over there. And, you know, we find ways to make that work to really uh, create the, the conversational aspect of the piece. Now, the, the, of course, the thing is to turn it into a performance, give it to an audience, and have the audience now talk to us about it. That's the whole goal, is to create conversation. We kind of want to make our artists feel a little uncomfortable, just, just to encourage a sense of confronting privilege in themselves. Being here, being in this room, surrounding the actors, not, you know, them not having a place to hide, us not having a place to hide, you have no choice but to take in what we're saying and to hear what we're presenting. And it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy to hear. It's not easy for us to say. If it was easy for us to say, then we wouldn't do it. So expect some discomfort, but that's really good. <laughs> because no one who's comfortable ever learns. But we're talking real lives, like people who are here at WMU or who have been here at WMU and hopefully that'll really wake people up to like, you know, the person sitting next to you might be thinking these things or might be feeling this way. You can you can show somebody a documentary film and have a, dis a post post documentary discussion. It is not the same as sitting there with live actors who worked on the material and there's this there's this ownership of it, personal ownership, and then the, the audience feels that. I mean they just feel it and they know it and so they're like, oh wait, this is about us, this is our community, we, we need to talk about this. Bringing this piece to a place like Western Michigan University, a place full of young blood, a place full of people who are supposed to be teaching these young students how to be adults in this world, this is the age that needs to be affected and that needs to be the ones who bring about the change. So it's really, really important that we are hitting these and giving facts and 
giving this really well-rounded, here's a whole bunch of different opinions. I'm not gonna tell you what to think, but you need to start thinking about it. This piece mirrors the bigger picture. It's just, it's bigger than just, we're putting on a play about privilege at Western. This, this play speaks for people in universities around the country. I think we could, we could invite Kalamazoo College, we could invite GVSU, we could invite Michigan State, and they would also find themselves here because what we're dealing with is systemic discrimination. So I think people are gonna have to look at what that means and where we are right now, and we're at a very crucial point about race relations in this country, and we really need to face this as institutions and, and people. Just listen to the words that are being said without any judgment or, well, this is how I feel about it, therefore I don't agree with you. Just listen, just take it all in. It's gonna be a lot to take in, but it's, it's important to just listen and let it marinate. This is what this community looks like. This needs to change, and we can all be a part of that change. And I'm just really excited to see how people feel about this play, because it's, it's really important. It is.